Might you donate 400 Mercedes to us? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. I wouldn't feel too bad about saying no, but I'm gonna say yes. Thank you. Perhaps I can help you in return. I imagine you're looking for Perseus's shield. Ooh. According to local legend, Perseus used it to slay Medusa. It's rumored to be on an island in the lake. I've heard that it's buried under a cactus. I'm sorry, that's all I know. Good luck. Well, we'll see what we can do about his cactus shield, but uh, not right now. Hi, I'm Gamer Mickey. Do you own a master system? Let's say I do. Like, how could I be playing this without one? Yay, isn't the FM sound amazing? <laughs> Damn it, Mickey, you're just breaking the fourth wall up and down, aren't you? What happens if I say no? I don't own a master system. What? Shame on you, hurry up and buy one. Like, how am I playing this game without the master system? Granted, like, granted, this is like the Japanese version with like the Mark III and whatever, but you know what I mean. Like, it'd be weird if you were playing The Legend of Zelda and all of a sudden they're like, do you have a Nintendo? Like, how else would I be playing this? Granted, I'm not using a master system right now. I could really use a Polari mate. Can you spare one? Go ahead. Thanks, please come again. You dick, you're supposed to tell me something. Oh, he didn't tell me a damn thing. Have you met Tajimu? He's a monk. He's living in the mountains south of the lake. Is that all the information we get about that? That might be it. I heard that Palma is a beautiful planet. Is it true? It's better than this place. Anywhere's better than a town surrounded by poison mist. Yeah, how are you guys kind of safe here in the middle? That's what I want to know. What if I say Palma is ugly? It is not beautiful at all. Oh, I see. I want to go to a place with cleaner air. Like 30 steps, man. That's all That's all it's going to take. All right, it is definitely time to heal up before I leave, so I'm going to take care of that off screen. All healed up. Let's move out. Let's see what we can find. In the middle of the lake which is where we were told things were. All right, made it through kind of difficult area right there without any battles. Not this time, at least. We didn't even find the uh, hardest thing around there. Hopefully I won't. All right, back into the hovercraft we go. Screw it, it's a hovercraft. Where we can find more floating whites just in the middle of the lake. This lake is infested. 45 damage, holy crap. Oh, that was great. Either way, we can uh, just head onto this little island in the middle of the lake, J just like we were told. Let's go ahead and get off the flow mover. And we'll go ahead. Oh, I believe I'm right on the spot where I need to be already. Let's go ahead and search here. And we found the shield of Perseus. All right, it's going to be equipped almost immediately. Let's take a look at Tylon's stats because he's, go he's going to be the one that equips it. He's on a bronze shield, so he could definitely use an upgrade. He has a defense of 85, so let's go ahead and equip him with the shield of Perseus, which is like a mirror, if I remember right, or at least it's shiny enough like a mirror. Let's see what he's at now. 117, so a very significant upgrade. I believe about a third, 33% higher, give or take. In the uh, Master System version, it is referred to as the Mirror Shield, but in this one, it is the Shield of Perseus, which is a much better name for it, I feel. All right, what we want to do now is get back on to the Flow Mover. If I could find it. I'm used to it being one further down, but I've used an item now and screwed up everything. Uh, do I need to go back? You know what? I think I'm gonna be fine. Ugh, I'm, I'm scared though. I'm scared. Alright, let's head down here. And head right there. Alright. That seems like the spot to be. Let's get off the flow mover. And go south. Just straight south from here. Taking on another new sandworm. This is called a desert leech. 
and it died before it got a chance to try anything. 15 more experience points heading my way. And 47 Mercedes. Let's head down. I haven't done level grinding in quite some time. I'm starting to think that I might need to do it, but I sh should hopefully be fine. Here we can find, I think it was Tarzamal's cave in this one as well. Either way, we're in. All right, we're gonna start by heading straight, taking on red slimes. These guys shouldn't be too difficult. I will say that as you go through this dungeon, I would highly recommend that you hold on to uh, Lutz's MP pretty much as much as you can. And then that happens. And then that happens. I almost feel like leaving and going to heal and come back. That's how bad it is. All right, over here we can find ourselves a Polori mate in a chest that doesn't hate me. Unlike the other chests. All right, time to backtrack a bit. I'm not opening the chest. I'm not. I No, this this is not an easy dungeon by any means. I am not opening that chest. Screw the chest. We're done with the chest. Uh, Motavian teasers. I'll just talk to them since there's four of them. You should not go against Lord the Sheik. We have Lord Le Sheik supporters in this game. That's a first, I think. All right, we're going to take a right here and follow this path all the way to the end taking on tarantulas and then not opening their treasure chests i refuse i absolutely refuse i have had way too much bad luck with that all right head all the way to the end here talk to the motavian teasers there's no reason i need to take them on there's no reason not when there's that many if there's just one then i'll risk it but for all of those no thank you yeah, we want to go to the end here. Just straight. And over here, where we can find a treasure chest with a wood cane in it. In other words, I do not care about it. All right, the red slime gave me a bad time before. Let's, let's try it one more time. All right, not bad. Not bad. So it's at least not every time. Devil bats, are you kidding me? The game does have a huge amount of randomness when it comes to what enemies you can encounter. At this point, there's no reason we should ever encounter devil bats. You know what I mean? They're way too easy. Way too easy. All right, we're going to take a right here. Follow this path up and around. Taking on tarantulas. Once again, not risking it. Way too difficult. This place is, is rather long and... Opening up treasure chests is too risky from those guys. I've had too bad of luck in the meantime with them. All right. Uh, at the end of the path, we're going to take a right. Follow this all the way to the end where we can find another treasure chest with a white cloak in it. Isn't that what loot is already on? Yep. White cloak. No need to pick up another one, but here it is in a dungeon where it really does not need to be. All right, we're gonna head straight this time. We're kind of attacking the four corners of this first floor so far. Taking on tarantulas as we go. And, and, and still not opening the chest. I refuse, not this dungeon. So stop giving me tarantulas. Right here, okay. So this is the first time that we're going to encounter something. So you have to excuse me if I take a little time here. Uh, one, two, three squares or three steps away from the, the entrance that was on the right. Uh, turn left here and step forward through a fake wall. Uh, you can go left or right here, but there's no point. Just keep going forward. Yeah, there's also fake walls in this game. And this is the first time that we have encountered it. Not nice. But at the end, we can find a treasure chest filled with 3,000 Mercedes. So if for some reason you were attacking all of the walls in the game, you could find 3,000 Mercedes. It's very obscure, but there it is. Here's the fake wall again. It looks like nothing other than an ordinary wall. It looks just like this one. That was not fake. It's weird, but there it is, a fake wall. 
Now we'll take the path that we skipped before and head down. And here we can find another difficult place. We're going to start by going right. It doesn't really matter, though, because it's another box situation here. Uh, but at the end of the box, uh, we're just going to continue forward and head to a treasure chest where we can find a Ruajanin. And I do want to drop something. I am already full. That is not good for me. That is not good. Um, let's get rid of that wood cane. There's really no reason for me to have that at this point. It doesn't sell. I could also get rid of that white cloak. Not that big of a deal. All right, some more difficult enemies. At least more difficult than the, the tarantula. These guys still aren't that difficult in the long run, though. Really? Meow, it's up to you! Thank you, Meow. Stop binding all the people that I have in my party. Okay, so now we're gonna re-enter the box, head up here, turn right, then turn left, and right again where we can find a treasure chest with a searchlight. But I do not care about the searchlight. I do want to abandon the searchlight. I abandoned the searchlight. But I, I don't need those anymore. And once again, it's not like they sell. All right, now here's where things get a little complicated, uh, primarily because I'm not gonna be going that way. But first we have a serpent to take down. Serpents are nothing we have not seen before go down rather quickly. Usually don't have treasure chests that explode. All right, so let's head to the end here. Uh, we're gonna take a right. If you take a left and then another left and head to the end, there will be an empty treasure chest there for you. I'm not opening treasure chests that I don't have to at this point. They have been the deadliest enemy in the game to me so far. So we're not going to open unnecessary treasure chests. All right, so head right, head right again, and right again. 